It's time for love readings. You're going to get the most out of this love reading if you watch it for your moon sign. This video right here, if you haven't seen it, will tell you why. There's a link in the description box below so you can go right to that to find out why. Um, but regardless of whether you're watching this for your moon sign, which you should be, um, or, or not, whatever, um, I just wanna tell you what we are covering today. What do you need to let go of? Um, what what are you attracting this month in regards to love? What's out of your control? And then what act, what do you need to take action on? We're going to look at singles, couples, and then it's complicated situations. So that could be polyamorous. Maybe um, you're talking to each other, but it's not Facebook official yet. On again, off again, whatever that is. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then it's complicated last. The reason being because sometimes when it's complicated, pieces of the single reading and the couple's reading will resonate hard for you and you might wanna go and watch those pieces as well, okay? Um, I think I already said, but this reading is from now until June 15th. Um, and the reason why I go half month to half month is because I put out the general readings at the beginning of every month and then money readings um, also right after that. So let's get started. Oh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck today. If you're wondering what that's about, there's a link in the description box below if you wanna purchase one. I don't sell them, but um, if you get it through the affiliate link, I might get like two or three cents from that and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you're just helping a sister out to keep making these videos. Cancer singles, what do you need to let go of? Well, this idea that everything should just move really, really slow, everything is going to take for fucking ever, you know, so maybe you're in the mindset that finding the right partner does take forever. That's not really helpful if you want to have something soon, right? What are you attracting into your love life right now? And they're like a lack of enthusiasm, a lack of joy, a lack of fun. What's outside of your control? Well, it's just not a lucky time for you. For some of you, that's because coronavirus is affecting your love life. What is it that you need to take action on? And what they're saying here is that you can't really hold tight to something that you don't know is right for you or you can't hold tight to the idea of dating right now um, because you're not sure how it's gonna work out. But really anything that happens in your life, you're not sure how it's gonna work out. So, you know, maybe just kind of open yourself up to the possibilities. Cancer couples, what is it that you need to let go of? They're saying, not being worried about things. You're not worried about things right now, but maybe it's time to start thinking about things a little bit in your relationship. Specifically, what should you be thinking about? Because worry isn't the right word that you should worry about your relationship, but they're saying, you know, the amount of time that things are taking, that maybe things are moving a little too slow. Maybe your partner made a promise and it's taken them a little too fucking long to fulfill it, right? So maybe it's time to bring it up and have a conversation. What is it that you're attracting into your relationship right now? And they say togetherness, which is adorable. You know, mutual assistance and reliance, which is also good. What's outside of your control? And they're saying, we don't really have much to tell you there. It's just more um, that you could be needing a rest. Maybe you need to get to bed earlier. Maybe you need higher quality sleep. Um, but your rest is really important. Maybe you're sick, I hope not, but I mean, it's a possibility. So what is it that you need to take action on in your relationships? And they're just saying, honestly, it should have very little to do with planning for the future, your money, your career, all of that stuff. They're like, any of that stuff, don't take action on it. Like basically do nothing. I think your relationship is really stable and connected right now and in a good place. So they're saying, you know, maybe there's some things from the past that it's time to go and talk about, which is interesting because I believe it was Sagittarius and maybe Virgo that they're like, oh my God, stop bringing up the past. But for you, maybe now you're in a comfortable, good enough, safe enough space to do that. Um, so for, cancers that are in complicated situations what do you need to let go of and they're saying you know the some of you are manifesting pain and hurt into your love life okay um it, so a lot of times this happens when we're like manifesting a specific person who's kind of a shithead um it's like then you're just manifesting more pain and more struggle into your life instead of manifesting you know the right partner for you um okay so there's that what is it that um, is that you're, is outside of your control and basically what other people do, you know, um, and that you have zero ability to control that and that, you know, it um, doesn't make you feel very confident, 
okay? Other people's actions are affecting how you feel. Now, that is obviously not um, an easy vibe, right? Um, just to say, don't give a shit what, how other people treat you. Don't give a shit what other people do and how it affects you. Easier said than done. But they're like, really though, try not to give a shit. <laughs> if you can. Um, what do you need to take action on? So they're just saying, you know, maybe don't give love so easily or don't give it to the wrong people. They're like, if you're at a fork in the road, consider the options here best case and worst case scenario and then how likely is the best case scenario ask yourself what the fuck am i actually doing um they're saying you don't have to do you don't have to make a decision immediately but you need to at least start asking yourself those questions how do i really feel about this situation is this really what i want what do i really want maybe i want to explore it and just see what happens okay well, you know, then you can make that decision. But if you know that repeatedly you're not getting what you want from a certain scenario, then maybe it's time to let it go. You know, what, why are you potentially manifesting the wrong thing? Something that you know sucks. Maybe it's time to make a different choice. So I love you so much and see you next month.